Hello everyone. Today in this lecture, I am going to discuss chemistry of vitamin C. This is the second video that I will be posting on the chemistry of ascorbic acid or vitamin C. So let's see this problem through which we will be discussing the chemistry of vitamin C. The pKa of ascorbic acid, that is the word ascorbic acid is basically used for vitamin C. Its pK value is 4.17. Okay. Showing that it is slightly more acidic than acetic acid. So we have ascorbic acid. And this is basically vitamin C. Okay. And its pK value is how much? 4.17. Okay. And we are comparing it with acetic acid acetic acid that is present in vinegar this is having the chemical formula of CH3COOH and its pK value is 4.74 and we know that acetic strength is directly proportional to K value and inversely proportional to pK value okay so through this pK value data we can conclude that Ascorbic acid is slightly more acidic because its pK value is less than that of acetic acid. Okay. Now, the first question is, so the four different conjugate bases that would be formed by deprotonation of four different OH groups in ascorbic acid. Okay. So for that, we have to first draw the structure of ascorbic acid. So let's draw the ascorbic acid structure. It is having a five membered ring, okay, and various functional group like this. Yeah. So this is the structure of ascorbic acid, which has four OH group. This is the ester group that is present. This is enol, okay. Now. We have to draw the conjugate base. Okay. So let mark all these hydrogen as hydrogen number one, hydrogen number two, hydrogen number three, and hydrogen number four. These are the four acidic hydrogen. We know that acidic hydrogen is the hydrogen attached with electronegative element like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, halogen, okay, sp carbon. So these are the four acidic hydrogen. Okay. And by deprotonation of this hydrogen, we will be, you know, drawing its conjugate base. So let's deprotonate the hydrogen number one. Okay. We'll just remove it, the hydrogen one, and let's draw the conjugate base. Okay. So we'll be getting this as the conjugate base. Other group will be as it is. Okay. And here we'll have O negative. O negative has three electron pair or lone pair. So this is the conjugate base that we have got by removing hydrogen number one. Okay. Now we'll see the stability of this conjugate base. Okay. Is it resonance stabilized? Is this electron pair present on oxygen is taking part in resonance? So we can say there is no conjugation. Okay. So it is localized. negative charge and we can say there is no resonating structure no resonance form this resonance is not possible in this molecule okay now let's see we'll remove the second hydrogen that is hydrogen 2 and we'll just you know draw the structure of conjugate base so i can take the help of the first conjugate base simply okay and what changes I will do? Okay. This will be OH and this will become O negative. So it will be OH and this will become now O negative. Okay. Now in this molecule also, if you see, is this negative charge delocalized? So there is no conjugation, no resonance. So this is again similar. We can say that this is localized negative charge and there is no resonance forms. Okay, so these conjugate bases are basically not very stable. Their stability is not much because 
the negative charge is not delocalized okay let's see the next we will now remove the hydrogen 3 okay i will now draw the structure okay so again i can take the help of this conjugate base okay and see what will be the change change will be this oh1 will be at it as it is this hydrogen number three will get removed so here we have to put negative charge yeah now if we see this negative charge is taking part in resonance this is in conjugation with this double bond carbon carbon double bond so it is lone pair pi conjugation and again there is pi pi conjugation this pi bond and this pi bond of this ester group are also in conjugation so here definitely we will we'll be getting okay resonance forms or resonating structure so let's draw all the resonating structure first resonance will be between this lone pair and this pi bond so it is lone pair pi conjugation and let me draw that structure now here it will be negative charge here it will be double bond okay and here it will be as it is okay so this is one of the resonating structure okay so you can say this is first resonance form this is the second resonance form and again if we see proceed further then again you can see negative charge and this pi bond are in conjugation okay so this is carbonine pi conjugation so again resonance will be there okay let's draw the next resonating structure this will be the next resonating structure okay so we are getting basically three resonance forms for this conjugate base that is the result of removal of hydrogen 3 three conjugate base sorry uh, these three resonance forms that we are getting it means this conjugate base is much more stable as compared to this two conjugate base so we can say that hydrogen 3 will be most acidic because acidic strength is directly proportional to stability of conjugate base okay now let's see with the fourth one if you just remove the fourth one what we will be getting see this structure will be getting it is will become o negative and this group will be as it is so this is one of the you know resonance form now again if we see there is conjugation between this negative charge and this pi bond that is lone pair pi conjugation so here again there is a chance of resonance and this will be the next resonating structure that will be a double bond and there is a single bond OH O negative okay yeah so this is the other resonance form of this conjugate base that is obtained after deprotonation of H4 okay so that is also a quite stable conjugate base but not as com not much as compared to that one because this is more here three resonating forms we are getting and here only two resonance forms we are getting okay so if uh, we compare that uh, acidic strength you know order we'll say hydrogen 3 will be more acidic than hydrogen 4 the reason here it is two resonance uh, three resonance form resonating structure and here only two resonating structure okay and already we have discussed here that the acidic strength is directly proportional to stability of conjugate base okay so we have discussed the first part that is we have to show the four different conjugate bases upon the proportionation of these four oh groups of the carbonic acid okay let's move to the next part compare the stabilities of the H, okay conjugate bases and predict which oh group of ascorbic acid is most acidic okay so that already discussed in the first part if we see this conjugate base okay was most stable this one 
let me copy it okay this was the most stable and that was corresponding to hydrogen number three and the second most stable conjugate base was this one this one because there was also resonance but resonating structures is less in number so that is the stability order okay so we can say that the hydrogen number four you can say this one hydrogen number four this h4 is less acidic than h3 so this hydrogen is most acidic hydrogen this hydrogen is most acidic hydrogen okay now other two resonating structure are very very less stable so there you know uh, stability is very less so we do not consider any you know special uh, acidic you know properties of this hydrogen so these are very very less acidic now coming to the next that is the third part compare the most stable conjugate base of ascorbic acid with the conjugate base of acetic acid and suggest why these two compounds have similar acidities even though ascorbic acid lacks the carboxylic acid group okay so the most stable you know resonating structure of the conjugate base is this one basically here this one this is the most stable conjugate base it is the most stable conjugate base of ascorbic acid now if you see the acetic acid acetic acid structure is ch3 co oh and if you draw the conjugate base by removing this acidic hydrogen okay what will be getting will be getting ch3 co o negative okay now if we see the conjugate base of acetic acid okay this negative charge is delocalized there is resonance okay and it has got the other resonating structure like this okay so we can say this is also acidic region being uh, conjugate basis resonance stabilized it is giving two resonating structures okay and these two resonating structures are equivalent 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 resonating structure and we know that equivalent resonating structure are very stable the, that makes the you know conjugate base very stable okay so although this ascorbic acid has three resonating structure okay even though the acidity is comparable to that of acetic acid because it has two equivalent resonating structure the two similar you know resonating structures are there okay so that's all about the you know explanation of this third part so i hope you like the videos and if you like this please like share and subscribe the channel thank you